Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel, Taylor Talks Tales. Today I have a book review for you. It's on a short story collection that I would say is horror fiction, but also kind of falls under the weird fiction category. And I'm excited to do this one because I really enjoyed it a lot and I feel like more people should go check it out. So the book is Wounds, Six Stories from the Border of Hell by Nathan Ballingard. I'm going to read the back to you and we're going to get into the review. In his first collection, Nathan Ballingard carved out a distinctly singular place in American fiction. In Wounds, Ballingard navigates the strange waters between horror and the fantastical in this viscerally enter entrancing collection of six stories, including one new novella. From the eerie dread that descends upon a New Orleans dive bartender, when a cell phone is left behind after a rollicking bar fight in The Visible Filth, to Skull Pocket, where Jonathan Wormcake, the eminent corpse of Hobbs Landing, extends a special invitation to 14 children to attend the opening ceremonies of the 70th annual Skull Pocket Fair. To the search for the map of hell in The Butcher's Table, Ballingard's beautifully crafted stories are riveting in their quietly terrifying depictions of fear and anger, the desperate crimes of love, and the murky line between the known and the unknown. Alright, so I picked this up not knowing too much about it. I know that some horror fans and weird fiction fans um, had started reading it and were saying that they enjoyed it quite a bit. And I know that one of the stories in this was turned into a movie, which is Wounds on, I think you could probably watch it on Netflix or Hulu. I haven't seen it yet because I wanted to read the short story collection first, and also I've heard very mixed things about the movie, so I was a little hesitant about getting into it. Um, but I picked this up because I always like giving indie horror or, you know, small horror writers more of a chance, and um, I am very interested in picking up the author's other short story collection that's out, which is like North American Lake Monsters, I believe. But this one is a wonderfully done short story collection. Basically, there are five short stories and one novella, and all of them flow very nicely together. Um, the mythos and the just the creation of this world was fantastic. I was not expecting there to be very much world building in a short story collection like this, but the short story, like, they're all stories and they're separate on their own, but they come together and paint a bigger picture. You can still, you know, read everything separate and never complete the entire story and not feel like you're missing out on anything. Um, but the fact that there are little scenes and little bits and pieces of information that is in one story and then in another story and then another one, I just really enjoyed that a lot. And the writing was very solid. And when they say visceral, it, I. I agree with that because it really is when you're reading it you feel it and the descriptions are wonderfully done um, it's gory it's creepy it's at times a little disgusting and there are some very dark elements to this which I really enjoyed a lot um, so of the stories there's the Atlas of, um, Atlas of Hell which is the first one and that's essentially there's an occult um, bookseller who wants to find basically the Atlas of Hell um, for this kingpin down in Louisiana who wants to sell stuff from hell um, because one thing I was actually not expecting with the short story collection even though it says literally the border of hell um, I didn't realize but hell is a real place like this involves hell and Satanism and imps and anything touching hell and that kind of stuff so I thought that was really really fun because for some reason I thought that this was gonna be because I didn't know too much about it in like I thought it was going to be more like a metaphorical hell, but it's a real hell. And I enjoyed that a lot. Kind of reminded me a little bit of, um, there's some elements of like Clive Barker in here, I would say, but you know, Nathan does his own job, so he's not ripping off anybody. It just, I felt like, um, at times I was got a little bit of a Clive Barker vibe. Um, so there's Alice of Hell, The Diabolist, which is a story about a man and basically he's a necromancer. He dies and his daughter wants to figure out how to bring him back because she knows that he was a necromancer who was trying to bring his wife back and failed. So now she's trying to bring her dad back and things happen. Um, Skull Pocket is the one where there's basically a town that was taken over by ghouls um, and humans and ghouls kind of live side by side. It's a little... There's some tensions going on but it's like very interesting and there's this... Uh, religion is the order of the maggot um, that humans start following in this religion with 
the ghouls kind of leading it. Um, then there's the Ma, which Ma is uh, basically... I don't want to give too much away because that story is more... You should just read it, but essentially a man's looking for his dog and hell on earth has sort of taken over this part of town and he hires a girl who has survived to try to help him track down his dog. And then the visible filth is what the movie Wounds is based off of and that's basically there's a Louisiana dive bar um, bartender who finds a cell phone and weird things start to happen and his girlfriend gets sucked into it and it's like, you know, cult stuff and weird things happening. Um, and then the last one is The Butcher's Table and The Butcher's Table is a basically a time period piece and it's told from multiple points of view and essentially there's this group of people who are trying to get to the actual border of hell for this grand feast because they are cannibals, some of them, and Satan is who want to um, bring Satan to the dinner table and eat somebody. So, and then there's other people coming along for the ride for various purposes, and that's the that's the novella. So the butcher's table is the novella, and yeah, this is just such a fun short story collection. I really enjoyed it. I gave it five out of five stars because the entire time I was just hooked into it. The writing's great, um, world building is wonderful, the storytelling aspect was fantastic. Um, I think if you are super into character-driven stories, you may not like this as much, just because I feel like, um, because they're short stories and because there's a lot going on, um, there isn't a whole lot of time to really flesh out the characters. I didn't think that they were, like, cardboard characters, but, um, I know some people, they have to really have that strong connection with the characters, and I don't think this is necessarily a character-driven story. I think it's more of a actual, like, plot and world-building and just horrific scenes and ideas that make you think and like a lot of visceral and visual things happening so um other than that though i recommend this for horror fans for um fans of weird fiction if you just want to get into some short stories um i think this is one of the better short story collections out there actually um because most of the time I tend to, even though I enjoy short stories as a collection when they come together, I typically rate most of them like three or four stars just because there's always a couple that are better than the others or some that are like particularly bad and like as a collection it's a little weak. But this was like very solid. I think um, Skull Pocket had sort of a funny, almost like dark humor to it, which didn't necessarily fit with the rest of the story, but it still was fine being in there. And I think the weakest one, in my opinion, was the Diabolist. I don't know why, I just was, it was fine, like, it was good, like, all the stories were good, it just, compared to the others, it was still, you know, it wasn't my favorite, um, but I, I still enjoyed every single piece that I read, and I definitely want to check out more of Nathan Ballingren's work. So, check it out, I rated this 5 out of 5 stars, it's, it's just really well done, creepy, gory, um, Without being overly violent, I don't ever think there was anything over the top or gratuitous or anything like that. It's just it's just dark fiction at its finest. And I really enjoyed the fantasy elements too. I was not expecting that at all. I thought this was gonna, you know, be a little bit of a different story, but instead I actually appreciated the world building and I appreciated the fantasy the dark fantasy elements and like the occult stuff and the Satanist stuff and ghouls and monsters and and all that was very fun to read. So check it out. Thank you so much. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Please comment, rate, subscribe. Let me know if you've read this or if you're planning on reading it. If you do read it, let me know what you think. Um, please comment, rate, subscribe. Happy reading, and I will talk to you guys later.